Hi guys, it's Mitz here. Um, YouTube changed, um, you know, all their pages today, and so I have to go and change a banner on my partner because I'm a YouTube partner. So what I've got to do is go and make a small banner, a new one. So I'm going to press on New. I'm in Photoshop, and I want to make a banner which is 170 wide by 25 pixels high okay whoa <laughs> okay right <laughs> so that's what they said they sent me an email and they said hey we've changed the site and this is what we're gonna do now they've got a white background so I'll just stick with a white background so what I want to do is I usually put subscribe on there in an arrow but I don't know which way to point the arrow because I don't even know where they're going to put it so let's just quickly do it and see what happens so what I'll do is I'll put some text on there first okay I'll just put sub scribe right and I'm just going to change the text just a fraction bigger I'm sure I can handle it it's 14 something at the moment 14 point whatever let's try 18 alright not bad um, not going to do anything fancy here okay um, but we do want to make it stand out so we'll try and change the color because everything on YouTube that I've just looked at is kind of um, white and black and um, then their logo's red. So maybe we could go red. Let's see what red looks like. So anyway, I'll pick red. Right, go for red. Uh, it's not very nice, is it? Um, try that red. Who knows? Uh, maybe I could go a bit bigger as well. Let's just press OK. Don't like it when things change because then you have to go and do it all over again. It's very annoying. Let's try 19. Yeah, 19 looks good. Okay, let's try 20. Yeah, 20 looks good too. Right, so let's put a shadow on it. So the way I just put a shadow on it is I'm going to get the layers thing out here. It was sitting on the side over there, right? So these are the layers I've got. I've got a background layer and a text layer. So what I'm going to do is double click on that text layer and then this box comes up. Now I'm just going to add a drop, see the drop shadow thing? Um, well I'll just, just play around with it. Okay that looks a bit different. Just play around with it until you can find something that looks clear. See that looks clearer. See than that? Okay that looks crap. Oh not bad or whatever. <laughs> right okay so that looks fine okay so I'm not happy the text is in the middle okay so let's just press OK sorry right now the text is in the middle and I want to move it so what I'm gonna do is press on this selection thing so I can move it around now I'm just guessing I don't know anything about this you know like I don't know what's gonna happen where the arrow is meant to go, anything like that. I'm just going to stretch this. This is going to be just a quickie. Okay, I'm just going to see what we can do with it. Right, so I want to just stick an arrow here now. Okay, so we'll just go like that because then we can apply this transformation. So press apply. Now, an arrow, how do you do that? You go to the shapes. Okay, okay, that's a rectangle tool so right click on it and it'll come up with this custom shape tool go down there now up the top it's got a shape to choose okay so it's got all these arrows here fat ones skinny ones and then it has the twisty ones the problem is I don't know which way we're meant to be pointing so I'm just gonna pick an arrow I know it sounds stupid put it on there right then I'm going to select it because I want to flip it around. It's obviously, I don't, I just want to make it go the other way. So first I'm going to move it. 
right, and then I'm going to flip it if it'll let me. If it's not going to let me flip it, right, I've got it selected there as you can tell. I'm going to go up to the menu, right, and I'm going to go to the edit menu and I'm going to go to transform and I want to, right, rotate it. So let's rotate, see? It's giving me a Let's rotate. Right. Bit more. Whoops. Bit more. <laughs> I'm trying to make it straight here. It's not happening. Uh, it looks totally dodgy. That's not too bad. Right, so let's go and select it. Oh, I'm going to press apply, of course. I hate that. I always forget. Um, and let's just put the arrow there. Right, so let's just say that this is finished and let's go up and save it for the web. Save for web. Right, it's just a simple little thing. We're going to try and we're going to save it. I've got it as a PNG there if anyone's interested. Right, so I'm just going to make a new folder. It's in Tips for PC Icons. And the new folder is um, subscribe, okay, YouTube. Oops, don't know what I did there, but anyway, oh, there we go, that'll do. Okay, we're going to double click on it and go in there, and now we're going to save it. And we're going to call it subscribe and it's a PNG and we're going to press save so you got to remember where you're saving it too I know where I'm putting it but you might want to put it in your pictures folder or whatever right so now we're going to get rid of um, that and we're going to go to YouTube and I already went to my channel and signed in okay now up here it says upload a 300 by 45 pixel banner down here it says 25 pixels by 170. Now this is the new thing here. See? New video page design. This old one here is, they've still got my banner there but it, they're not using it because um, they changed the page today. So I'm going to press on browse and now we've got to find out where I put it. I put it in pictures and um, tips for PC icons and oh god I can't remember there's too much stuff um, what do I call it again subscribe there it is right there and then that one and we'll press open okay okay they've got it right so now I'm going to press save changes okay guys let's see what happens I'm going to go to the computer basics no I'm not I want to go to a video I don't want to go to a channel so we'll go down and we'll go to one of my videos that I've made by clicking on the link because we want to get out of the channel whoops that's not good <laughs> okay so I've got a subscribe button but I want to turn it around wait a minute pause okay guys so that was my experiment so what I'm gonna do is go and change that but at least you know how to do it okay that was how easy it was I'm gonna go and put the arrow on the other side um, and maybe make it um, something a little bit brighter than that I'm not really sure alright thanks for watching see you later